Okay, Dean, this is Brian, and um, I've got the Ensign from storage, and I brought it down here to my workshop, and you can see I'm doing this with a flip, and the screen is a little small, but I'm trying to give you a, a little bit of an idea of what we're up against. Um, mast is loaded on top of the boat. Uh, trailer. You wanted to see the tongue of the trailer for the purpose of putting on a sway bar and uh, the way it's set up now it's a 2 and 5 16 ball and then it's got 4 inch tube stock that runs back about 20 inches and then it flares out from there. So um, you know you could add a sway bar but my experience has been this thing tracks so nicely down the road that you don't need one. So you might even want to pull it around the block and see what your thoughts are. There's a spare tire that's never been used. And it um, you know, will accommodate you in the event that the thing has a failure. The um, supports that hold the mast are an aluminum assembly that I designed myself. And I'll show you those more when we get to the top. And that allows the boat to be... Uh, strap to the trailer without the straps coming in contact with the rub rail and denting it. Um, VC-17 has got a little bit of coloration change on it, but other than that it should be serviceable without having to paint it. Um, had the trailer axles greased today and the uh, lights repaired. One of them had a cracked bulb. Um, here's the stern, the light, and offset motor mount. The motor mount is able to be detached and put in the boat while you're out and about. I'm going to grab a ladder here and show you up on the top side. Here's those uh, aluminum assemblies. They're uh, inch and a half by two and a half tube stock that are welded up with a crutch and then padded so the pads lay on the deck and the strap passes through to the other side and then that goes down to the trailer and secures it so it doesn't touch. Um, the boom is laying in the cockpit and the tiller is self-explanatory uh, as is the main traveler the main traveler terminates through turning blocks and um, can be adjusted um, forward in the in the cockpit. If you look at the green line that's in that traveler, they pass forward to these cleats just ahead of the helm, and that's what's tied around the end of the tiller. So if you have the tiller in one hand, you can do your traveler adjustment with the other hand, and then the the uh, blocks ahead of that down under the combing is for the spinnaker and the spinnaker would go through this cheek block here and then go forward so that the crew can uh, run the guys in the on the spinnaker and the sheets. Uh, the cleats are all pop-up. Uh, backstay adjuster is it interrupts the aft stay and just uh, so when you deploy the mast, you just put the the three stays on the sides, one front and one back, and just adjust them until it's straight. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. The winches are self-tailing, um, or I mean they're two-speed, and they're not self-tailing because when the sheets terminate, they go through the cam cleats and allow you to be able to let them out or take them in you know, very easily. Um, here's the floor. So as you can see the boom the boom uh, tent cover and the boom itself and the older set of sails are all inside. Um, the new set of sails are going to be in the back of the van that brings the boat down there. 
so that's pretty much it there's not a lot that's sophisticated about the rigging um, the um, halyards just come down from the mast and through the blocks that are at the base of the mast and then they run back to the cockpit through the jam cleats on top of the cabin top and that's it you just the tails just hang in the cabin or you can put a mesh bag to carry the tails that's why there's no doors on the cabin is because all the tailing from the lines tends to fall into there and uh, most people don't run doors on them um, I will look for the doors tonight so in the meantime it looks good I will give you a call a little later when my wife loads this on the computer and uh, we will talk more and and do our thing. Thanks.